Learning proper technique for specimen collection is of utmost importance. The test is only as good as the quality of specimen obtained. Our goal is to reduce false negatives, and especially in the era of COVID, our attempt to try to reduce false negatives is of significant importance. The first step is to understand the anatomy to then understand the direction the swabs go. It is a common mistake to have the swab misdirected right from the onset, oftentimes going along the bridge of the nose. It must go straight back along the floor of the nose to the nasopharynx. Improper technique results in the patient having a nasal sample rather than a nasopharyngeal sample, resulting in lower sensitivities. Improper direction superiorly is noted in these photographs and training samples. These are actual clips from the training videos from the swab companies. You can see that the direction of the swab is towards the upper vault of the nose rather than the back of the nose. Poor training results in poor technique and thereby poor results. Let's learn good technique starting with proper direction of the swab into the nose extending to the back of the nose towards the ear lobule. Let's review the proper technique for obtaining a nasopharyngeal swab. Typically, the swab kit includes viral transport medium along with a swab. We first want to assess the patient's anatomy, ruling out a deviated septum or a narrowing that would prevent the swab from getting to the back of the nose. This can be performed with an otoscope or a nasal speculum. It's very important to make sure you assess the proper direction. Going upwards along the bridge of the nose is the wrong direction. Straight back towards the ear lobe is the proper direction. Again, if the swab is directed in the wrong direction with introduction, you will not get to the back of the nose. This is the wrong direction. We want to go along the floor of the nose, which heads to the back part of the nose or the nasopharynx. Remove the swab from its package. I personally like having a small little bend on the tip that allows then to be bent towards the floor of the nose that then helps self-guide to the back part of the nose. Following and in inserting the proper technique, go to the back of the nose Twist or spin this in this area after it meets resistance for approximately three seconds and remove. The swab then can be placed in vial transport medium and sent to the lab. If you are looking for an option for swabs or a specimen collection method with higher sensitivities, see the next video on nasopharyngeal aspiration.